Orang kiri orang mumbo itu kerana mana, dia mungkin samsaari ke naik lagi. Hallelujah. Greetings to one and all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a great joy for me to be amongst you today and lifting up the name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. I am here only by the grace of God. And uh, the prayers of my mother, my sister, and my beloved brother-in-law, uh, Bose Shine. Uh, it is such a wonderful uh, uh, blessing for me to be amongst you all. Amen. It was uh, a desire and a prayer kept in the presence of God. And every prayer that is made in with the true sp spirit, in the right motive, God answers that prayer. Amen. So I am very happy and glad to be over here. Um, and um, uh, greetings to all of you from our church in Dubai. Uh, I, as my sister said, uh, we um, are taking responsibility of three churches in Dubai. One is in English and the other two is in uh, Hindi as well as a little bit of Urdu. The only relationship that we had with uh, Pakistan when we were growing up was in the Indo-Pakistan cricket match. But by the grace of God, for the last two years, uh, we have seen many Pakistani brothers coming into the waters of baptism and take, accepting Jesus as their personal savior. Amen. And we are, we are worshiping our living God together. And it is a great joy amen, to see amen, men and brothers of different fa uh, culture and different countries coming together and glorifying the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you all for praying for us. Uh, my sister JC and my brother-in-law uh, both shine and Merlin and uh, Joash Nathan it is a great joy to be with them and uh, we will continue to pray for each and every one of you I thank the pastors over here and special especially pastor uh, Reverend Dr. Baby Varghese who came uh, to meet me on the 1st of July when we landed here in Dallas we'll be going back on the 12th from here to uh, California and uh, from there on the 21st of July, we'll be returning back to uh, Dubai, where I work and as also I serve as a minister. My wife, uh, she testified today, she also works there in a school. And uh, my uh, younger daughter is with us. The elder daughter is in uh, Bombay, continue to pray for us as a family, that we may be faithful wherever the Lord has planted us. And that's what our desire is. Uh, wherever God has kept us, that we may be faithful till the very end, that we see only the name of Jesus being lifted high. Amen? And that's, that's, that's the, you know, when I was in Bombay, uh, 2014 uh, November, and even some months before that, the Lord told me, I'm going to change your time. I'm going to change your season. I'm going to take you and plant you somewhere else. I had no clue what was that all about, but I kept it in prayer. Suddenly things worked out and as a job interview, I was uh, called on Skype. I gave my interview. The Skype didn't work. The telephone connection was poor and I didn't know what. But I tell you one thing, by the grace of God, I landed in Dubai in 2014, November. I had no French friends over there. I had no contact over there. But today, if you come to Dubai, you will receive a great welcome from all our church members. It's more than 120 in the English church and it is 45 to 50 in the Hindi church church in Dubai and in Ajman we have one more service of Hindi where around 25 to 30 people are there all glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus hallelujah he said he will establish he's a God who promises and he keeps a promise Amen. He's a covenant making God and he's a covenant keeping God. Amen. And so whoever is listening to this word, let me tell you whatever struggles, whatever problems you may be going through. If God has called you here, he has a plan, he has a purpose and he will establish you for the name of his glory. Hallelujah. May God alone be lifted up in our life. Amen. I, uh, I thank God for a wonderful wife that God has given me. I always say that she, Sony, is my beloved wife in whom I am well pleased. Amen. And she stands with me as a support in the ministry and, you know, in serving God and God's people. In the uh, beginning of Jan 2019, God gave me a word that this, word, this year will be a year of growth and expansion. And in our church, we are seeing growth and expansion happening every uh, Friday 
services. Amen. So I request all of you to pray for us and uh, continue to remember us in your prayer that we may be faithful and we may complete the work that and the task that God has called us. I believe each one of you is anointed and each one's anointing is to complete a particular purpose in life. Amen. May you know the purpose and the plan that God has called you for. May the Lord open the eyes of your understanding. May the Lord lead you. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. God is the one who ordains our paths, our steps in each and every direction. So when we humble ourselves in the presence of God, He is the lifter of the head. He is the one who takes us forward. He is the one who establishes our going. He is the one who says, I will be with you even till the end of time. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amen. 2010, when my dad passed away, I was in Pushperi Hospital in Kerala and I was alone beside my dad. Amen. And when he was passed Passing away. I mean, I immediately, I know what, I don't know, the Spirit of the Lord made me pray and thank God for a good biological father that God gave us who raised us up in the fear of God. And while I was praying and thanking God with both my hands lifted up and my dad was passing away, one word I heard from, audible word I heard from God was that, behold, I will be with you even till the end of time. Amen. And I see the hand of God every day in my life. Hallelujah. We don't walk by what we see, but we walk by faith. Hallelujah. And God is with us. Amen. And let me tell you, God is with you. Hallelujah. He will never forsake you. He's a loving father. He's a good friend. He's a good guide. And he's a good counselor. Hallelujah. Amen. You may take the whole world, but give me Jesus, says the songwriter. Amen. Whatever happens, people of God, don't turn back because He is right in front of you and He's opened a big door in front of you. Hallelujah. If only you pray, Lord, open the eyes of my understanding. Just like Elisha prayed for his servant, God will open your eyes. Amen. And when your eyes open, you will see the glory of God. I pray that you see the glory of God each day of your life. Hallelujah. And may God ordain your step. May God raise you up. May God bless you. Hallelujah. The little time that we have because there's Lord's table also over there which we want to honor, we want to partake, we want to lift up knowing the life, death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just want to take one word that came to me for the Lord and I just want to share that with you and may it be a blessing to each and every one of us. It is from Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Second Peter Chapter 1 and verse 10. It says here, Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. Amen. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. Wherefore, you know, in another version, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Amen. There is the promise of God over the church, over each one of you. But there is one thing that we need to do. We must make every effort. We must make every diligence to make our calling and election sure. Amen. That effort must come from within us. Amen. We, we are not here to have a picnic in this world. But we are here to fulfill a call. We are here to fulfill a purpose. We are here to win souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. And when we do that and make every effort in whatever we do, God is the one who fulfills all our needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ. He said, Amen, if you take my teaching all over the world, I will be with you. He has promised that His Holy Spirit will guide us and teach us in everything. He has anointed us. Amen. So children of God, if there is one thing that I want to in put inside of you today is that make every effort. Make all diligence. You know, when we were children, when we were children, I know I remember my mommy, whenever she wants to give me medicine and I would not take medicine, she would take medicine and put it in a, in a, in a small form of rice, you know, and she would make me feed the rice. I mean, I was not knowing that within the rice round, there is a medicine that is good for my body. Amen. Today, I don't have time to give you the rice. I will give you just the pill. Amen. So that you take it for the glory of God's name. Hallelujah. You know, uh, when, when we make this effort 
to know why we are over here and why God has planted us. The Bible teaches us that each one of us are supposed to bear fruit. And Jesus himself prayed that your fruit may remain. So every effort has to be given, made, that we connect ourselves to the word of God and to God himself. So that then whatever we do, we prosper. And that your leaves may not wither. And in your right season, you may bear much fruit. And yet that your fruit may remain. So that one day when your name is called in heaven. Amen. You and along your fruits. That the souls that you want for the kingdom of God. God will say and say. Come to me my beloved sermon. Enter into my rest. Where God has kept you. Be faithful. Where God has planted you. Make all effort. Amen. To bear much fruit for the kingdom glory. Amen. What God wants each and every one of us, you know, many a time we say, Lord, give me, give me, give me, give me. Come out of that give me business and say, Lord, what can I do for you, do for you, do for you. When you have the right attitude, God will take you to a new altitude. When you have a prayer only to see the kingdom glory, hallelujah, God will give you all the resources and the anointing for the expansion of his kingdom. When we started our Hindi service in Dubai, it was only two people, but God gave me a burden that you start. And I said, Lord, I don't have the time because I'm also working. I said, God said, you begin and I'm there with you. I said, Lord, I don't have the resources. Jesus said, I am your biggest resource. But you start. And I started with two brothers in my home, but in great faith, with great joy. Not looking at the two, but looking at the 2,000 that God is going to give. Amen. And God took that two people with us. And today we have Hindi church in Ajman. We have Hindi church in Dubai. All for the glory of God. We start on Friday service early in the morning at 7.15. And after that we go to Ajman. We come back to Dubai. And it is by 9 o'clock that we get some time to relax and, and take fresh air. Because God is using all of us, all leaders along with me for His glory. And therefore I share with you that it is not by our strength. It is not by our power. But by the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Only if we surrender to His will, will He take us to a greater hill hallelujah only if we surrender at his feet will he take us to the mountain heights amen nothing comes accidentally everything is by divine appointment nothing comes to you by chance i don't believe in that word by chance in hindi in urdu they say ittafaq koi bhi ittafaq se nahi hota nothing happens by chance but everything is ordained by god only thing that what we need to do is, as per the word of what we read today, make every effort. Make every effort. And that's what God expects the church to do. Only if the church does that, will the church multiply and grow and bring souls to the kingdom of God. You know, the other day, just a couple of days back, Merlin took us to the Federal Bureau of Engraving and Printing, which prints the dollar that you put in the offering bag over here and the dollar that you carry. We saw how the dollar was printed. And in the end we saw 64 uh, million dollar crate lying over there. Completely ready and ready to go to the Federal Reserve. When that paper came in, by the way the paper that you, the dollar uh, note that you carry is 75% cotton and 25% linen. So that's what we learned over there. So we're just seeing how, how, how the paper comes in and how the impression of the plate comes on the paper. And further it goes, it has 8 to 10 security measures within that. And finally, finally, the last thing is that there's a number that is impre impressed upon that paper. And then it gets cut, it gets bound, stacked. And after that, nobody can touch. After the numbering is put over it, no one can touch that note. It's automatic. Amen. What the Lord taught me is that. That is what we need to understand. That God called us from the eternal darkness. 
Amen. In which we had no impression, but the impression of the evil one. But God, hallelujah, removed all that from our life. Amen. And he impressed upon us his image and likeness. Came within us his image and likeness with the presence of the Holy Spirit. He put security measures on our life that the devil cannot touch you anymore. Amen. And he inscribed within us his name, his number. Hallelujah. And that he calls us his son. Amen. 1 John 3, 1 verse says, Behold, what manner of love is this that God has called us to be his love, his, his son. Hallelujah. And reflecting his glory in this world. You know, we are the light and the salt of this world. One day the Lord will come and take this light and the salt away. What will be this world worth of? There's notes that they are touching and feeling. But the moment the number is imprinted, no one can touch that note. It gets stacked and we saw a huge stack of notes over there. What I'm going to tell you is this one thing, brothers and sisters. Amen. You are carrying the impression of God. You are the child of the Most High God. So walk in the dignity and the power that God has given you. Greater is he who is in us than he that is in this world. Amen. If God is with us, who can be against us? Amen. And if that God is inside of you, let this dark world see that you carry the impression of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We don't have to pray for miracles, but miracles happen when we enter the place. Amen. We don't have to pray for power. Power comes because of the presence of God within us. Today, I leave with you this message because my time is running out. Make every effort as long as you breathe. Make every effort because after you stop breathing, you're just called a dead body, which can make no effort, but somebody has to carry it and bury it. But till the time you live, young people, listen to me carefully. God has a great plan for each one of you. God has a great purpose for each one of you. One day when I was playing, when I was a small kid, and not knowing what was happening, a big pot, a uh, plant pot, from the fourth floor where we were staying, Sujata building, was pushed down by us another boy, not knowing it was directly coming on my head. The devil had planned to kill, steal, and destroy. But at the right time, I moved forward because my turn came. I moved forward. And when I moved forward, this big pot came and hit my shoulders instead of my head. It hit my shoulders. I felt fainted. But now when I reflect back and see how God protected each one of us, each one of us, that we may make every effort Amen. To declare his kingdom to your in earth. That we may make every effort to bear much fruit for his kingdom. That we make every effort that one day when God calls us to his eternal glory, we will just stand before him and say, Lord, it is your love, it is your mercy, it is your greatness that you made me alive till this day. You are called by a plan. You are called with a purpose. You are a masterpiece in the hands of the living God. Amen. So work hard. Amen. To know and make your election and your calling sure. Amen. May God bless you in this pursuit. May God bless you when you walk this narrow street. May God be with you. Amen. And may God fulfill all your desires and your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ. May you be covered in the blood of Jesus. You will grow, expand, and you will do great things because greater God is inside of you. Amen. I believe the word of God. So when the word of God says rivers of living water will flow out of your belly. I believe that you have that inside of you. What it takes is that you make that effort. Amen. May God bless you with these words. Continue to pray for us. Amen. And whenever you are in Dubai, amen, you can take my number. Please come visit our church. And I, I assure you, we will make you feel at home. Amen. Can we lift up our hands and praise God? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. Continue to pray for us. God bless you.